when you ask machine learning engineers how exactly these large language models work internally then most of them they just shrug their shoulders and they say that we can build these models but we don't know how they work such as this quote in this mit technology review article by someone who has been leading a team of machine learning engineers so if you just scroll up so he is the guy who leads the mount sinai team a joel tutler and this is the sentiment which has been aired by many people over the last few months as the large language models are evolving at breakneck speed that is why when this paper came out yesterday from anthropic everyone was jumping on their seats there are few people who are just calling this a total sort of rubbish but there are many who are calling it a real breakthrough so in this video i'm just going to give you an overview a gist of what exactly anthropic is saying in this paper and then what exactly it means for us this paper discusses a breakthrough in understanding how large language models like claude sonnet which is the flagship model from anthropic work internally previously these models were treated as black boxes with unclear internal workings making it real difficult to trust their safety and reliability the breakthrough involves identifying millions of concepts represented inside the model providing a conceptual map of its internal states this achievement could potentially lead to making ai models safer and more trustworthy this paper and you can also read the paper by clicking on read the paper here and going to this website there you go sorry so this is the whole paper which you can read through it's a quite a long read so i just could i had to skim through it so pretty boring read but all in all very interesting so in terms of the gist which i am giving you but if you go through the whole paper i think they could have made it shorter anyway so this primarily discusses the challenges and risks involved in scaling up the technique to larger models but the expertise developed in training llms helped overcome these challenges also they talk about extracted features from the model that reveal a vast range of entities including cities people scientific field and programming syntax and also multimodal and multilingual so for example let me show you a few of the images from that paper look at this now this is pretty interesting so what is happening here is that the model is activating on images and text containing golden gate bridge so which is the feature here so a feature sensitive to the mentions of golden gate bridge fires on a range of model inputs from english mentions of the name of the bridge to discussion in japanese chinese greek vietnamese russian and also an image as you can see on the top right the orange color here uh, shows the words or word parts on which the feature is active so similarly if you look at this example this is the abstract feature example and there are three examples of features that activate on more abstract concepts so first is bugs in computer code then description of gender bias in professions and then thirdly conversation with keeping secrets if you look at this one here this is there are two models responses to a human which says uh, stop and smell the roses the so first one has no intervention which is a default um, sort of response from the assistant or the model which is very objectively clarifying human misconception but the second one is quite you know uh psychophantic and it is saying that you know uh it is very very untruthful so you can't really trust it now if you look at this image this is primarily a map of the feature near an inner conflict feature including clusters related to balancing trade offs romantic struggles conflicting allegiances and also catch 22 so different uh, categories from the different uh, domains so all in all um, you know pretty interesting i should say because this paper is saying at the core of it that it is a significant advance in understanding the inner workings of ai models and this could have important implications for their development and use and as per anthropic they have made a significant discovery in understanding how llms work internally and 
what they have done is they have applied a technique called as dictionary learning and they have identified millions of concepts represented inside the model providing a conceptual map of its internal states this breakthrough could potentially lead to making a model safer maybe so this is prep but one thing you have to give to this research is that this is a first detailed look inside a modern production grid llm also it has identified millions of concepts represented inside the model and then it could really lead to some sort of uh, guardrails in the future now there are a lot of criticism happening too on social media for this that this is just uh, a very very basic rudimentary research without any feet people are saying that um, this is a very old concept and anthropic has just discovered it and this concept is called a steering vector a steering vector is a mathematical concept which is very commonly used in ai models especially in the neural networks to guide the attention of the model towards specific parts of the input data it is a learned vector that points to the most relevant input elements such as words or pixels that are crucial for the model's prediction or decision making process the steering vector helps the model to focus on the most important features or patterns in the data enhancing its ability to extract meaningful information and make accurate predictions by adaptively adjusting the steering vector the model can dynamically shift its attention to different parts of the input data enabling it to capture complex contextual relationships and improve its overall performance so now you know what steering vector is i will leave the judgment to you whether you think that uh, anthropic is just trying to reinvent the wheel or if they have just rediscovered the steering vector or is it a genuine uh, new breakthrough let me know your thoughts in the comments i will drop the link to this paper in video's description of course and one thing i wanted to make very clear i'm not trying to undermine anthropics or anyone's um, efforts here but we have to very objectively dissect and bisect all of these researches because a lot of things depend on it and one thing i'm more than sure is that yes i totally agree that still a um, lot of information about inner working of llm is fuzzy and it is not helping that companies like anthropic itself are not open sourcing their cloud model open ai is not open sourcing their gpt force so how would we know that whatever they are saying is in fact true so i'm not uh, doubting their intentions or whatever but i think uh when a company with a closed source model releases some inner workings just in a paper theoretically it's hard to digest um so but all in all these features which they have uh, shown they represent a small subset of all the concept learned by model sounds pretty interesting and especially i am quite keen to know more about how exactly it will contribute to the future safety of large language model because that is some subject uh, which is quite concerning and still i don't see much happening in that domain that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching